Welcome to 10 Minute Teach with Mr. A. In this video, we're going to be multiplying mixed numbers by whole numbers. Okay, let's get started. Right, we have our three examples. Three and one six multiplied by four is our first one. Now, we've got some mixed numbers, so it's important to know what a mixed number actually is. It's made up of a whole number and a fraction part, so 3 and 1 6. And what we're going to do with each of these examples is partition our mixed number into its whole number and its fraction, multiply both by the whole number that we've got, and then we're going to put them back together at the end. So we're going to do 3 multiplied by 4 first, which equals 12. And we just want to keep that in the back of our mind so we don't forget it. And then we're going to do 1 sixth multiplied by 4 as well, which equals 4 sixths. Because I've still got 6, I've just got 4 of them. 4 lots of 1 sixth. And then all we do is add those back together. So we've partitioned, we've worked them out, now we put them back together. So 12 add 4 sixths equals 12 whole ones and 4 6. Okay, let's have a little look at our second example. Now we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to multiply our whole number first. So we've got 2 and 4 6. Let's work these out separately. So 2 times 3 is 6 whole ones. And again, we want to keep that in the back of our mind. Then we've got 4 6 multiplied by 3. And we've got, then we've got 12 6. Now we've got a bit of an improper fraction there, so we're going to convert that to a mixed number. Now that one actually gives us two whole ones because I can fit two lots of 6 into 12. And then we just need to put them back together. So what we've now got is 6 add two whole ones, which equals 8. Right, our third example. So we're going to do the same thing. So we've got our 5, and then we've got 4 fifths. So 5 multiplied by 7 is 35. There we go. So that's our whole number done. And now we're going to multiply our fraction by 7. Now 7 fours are 28. So I've got 28 fifths. And we'll do the same thing again with making that a mixed number. So how many fives can I fit in 28? Well, I can fit five whole lots of five, and then I've got three fifths left over. There we go. And now I just need to add these two numbers back up. So 35, add five whole ones, and three fifths equals 40, and three fifths. If this video has helped you today, then please consider checking out my other videos, maybe leave a comment for any that you'd like me to do in future, and also maybe a little subscribe as well. Until next time guys, goodbye.